Hello and welcome to a tutorial on creating your own custom 3DS theme. I will show you an example of one of the custom 3DS themes I've made. So if you head over to my site, you can see an example right here, followed by a video. So I'm going to teach you how to make this. There are two software or programs we can use. One is Yata Plus, which uses .NET, which is only available on Windows computers and another one is Usagi 3ds theme editor which is quite new and it is also made on .NET so we're going to use the Usagi 3ds theme editor so go ahead and go into github and download that as you can see it's downloading now you're wondering can I make the 3ds theme on a Mac well on Stack Overflow you can't because it's a Microsoft product but there is an open source implementation of it called Mono, so you can probably try that and see if it works. So now we're going to show the folder. Here we are. And now let's extract. Now open it, and you'll see the theme editor.wpf. Let's open that up. And now you're going to see the program opens, and you can turn on the animations folder and press. It's a live preview, which is very cool. So we don't need anything right now. And you can check out all the stuff and check out the about. <clears throat> There's also the dimensions on what files are supposed to be used. I mean, the image sizes, sorry. So now go onto your favorite website or browser, find some images. This is going to be a Pokemon themed one that I'm going to make. So I'm just going to... Just save all those images in here. So I already, I already got some. All right, now, since you probably don't have Photoshop or some really fancy photo editor, we're going to use Pixlr. So Google Pixlr, which is a free photo editor online, and just launch you know right here web app and then close that so here we are now what you want to do is go to the program or soggy 3ds theme editor and now look at each of the dimensions so as you can see we can make the folder and everything and then you can generate the preview and stuff so what you want to do is click new you want to type in your name so I'll just type in my name All right, so now let's look at the images. So you want to go to, what was that, flags, and set the background music to enable this, no sound effects, because I'm not going to get any. Oh, there we go. We can have the slow scroll on. So that means we're going to have to make our images bigger. So for this, we're going to have the top scroll animate and the bottom one, it'll be a bounce scroll, I guess. Or no, we'll do a page scroll. All right, so let's get started. So first, we want to look over here. You see how it says the dimensions, right? But wait, there's going to be some cropping on the bottom screen. So we're going to have to make up for that. Now just place in all your images and make something creative. What I like to do is just layer stuff oh so the top one is for like the animated one and the bottom one or the one in the middle is for a still image so let's let's make the 1008 uh, I like to get the calculator so each picture will be 336 so as you can see here, I am creating the images that we're going to use in the theme. You may want to crop the images and make sure you fit the dimensions so that there will be no cropping on the 3DS. Alright, so now we can go back to the theme and you can see that it shows you the dimensions. So this is how big it's supposed to be, right? And it shows you the crop value. We base it off the crop value, so that's good. So you want to make it 
10, 24 by 256 to make a new image. Alright, so now you want to just get all your images and import them as layers. So get your top, make sure you can see it, and just slide it over. Now, with all those small images you made, you're going to make the main image that's going to be bigger so that we can get the effect of the slow scroll or animated look on the 3DS theme. So just create the big image and put all your smaller ones and do this for the top and the bottom image for the 3DS. And you can rearrange them, decorate them, do whatever you want, be creative, it's your theme. Alright, so now for the next step, we need some music, background music. So what you want to do, go to your favorite website, whatever, like YouTube, get some music, copy that link, go to YouTube to MP3, paste that there, convert the video, and download that. For this step, you're going to need a BRSTM converter and a BRSTM to BCSTM. This is essential because Nintendo has their own proprietary files, which means basically special files for the program or console to play that specific music. So these will be linked in the description below and on my website so you can download those and be able to convert your BGM music and be able to use it in your 3DS theme. Here, you need to make sure that the file size of the converted music is less than 3,300 kilobytes. Now go back to your, your theme. Go to done one. And just paste that there and rename it BGM. It must be called BGM. Now what you want to do is go back to the application. And then go to image, top, import. And just go to the folder of where our stuff was. So main top one. Boom. Even though it's not that perfect, it doesn't matter. You can just fix it yourself. Bottom one. Boom. Oh, yeah, that's really ugly. See, now, now you can animate it. All right, now for the BGM. Make sure you save your body LZ file in the same folder as your BGM file. There we go. And now click on the BGM load and click play. See, you hear that? That's the BGM playing. Isn't that great? That beautiful Pokemon background music. You can also change the colors of the other things on the theme by enabling it under flags. All right, so remember, you had to make sure that the BGM is in the same folder as the body LZ pin. So now this is we're done. You can change the other stuff like you can add your folders and stuff, make the folders, just follow the sizes and change the icons. I'll leave that to you. Now you just save as save it there. Save. And click yes. And boom it's done. Now what you want to do is go back to that folder. Alright so now create a new folder Name it whatever you want. So I'm gonna name it. And then select BGM body LZ bin info dot smdh and preview and drag it into this folder. And now what you want to do is right click. Oh hopefully you have WinWire. So if you don't have WinWire, go download it and then click add to Pokemon 3 Skyrim. And then that's practically it. That's it, you're done. Now what you want to do is go to the homebrew launcher. So watch that video. It's going to show you how to set up homebrew launcher on your 3DS. And you'll be able to add your custom theme that you just made right now into your 3DS. And be able to see it in your 3DS. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have a fantastic day. See you later.